Ovidio Guzman aka El Raton son of El Chapo Guzman sent a message from the maximum security prison of Altiplano to the community of Jesus Maria in Sinaloa asking for forgiveness after the ravages of the operation that brought about his capture on January 5th. According to Molinio, through his relatives, El Raton apologized to the community for the damage caused during the early hours of that Thursday morning and asked that word spread in the town. And that is what El Raton's own family members have done. According to Molinio, whenever they can, they pass on Ovidio's message and ask that the word spread throughout the community. The petition to the plebes, as he calls them, is spread among all the inhabitants with the understanding that there is still fear and discomfort because of what happened. It is reported that a month after the so-called Culio Canazzo, the streets of Jesus Maria are still empty and spent shellings can still be found near the house of El Raton. So far, according to Molinio's report, the army remains in the town where they have installed a checkpoint at the entrance to the syndicate. They have also deployed food distribution services, haircuts, medical services, and maintenance to the four schools in the community. Oviedo faces charges in the United States for conspiracy to traffic cocaine, methamphetamine, and marijuana between 2008 and 2018. The U.S. government has requested his extradition. In this regard, a federal judge granted a stay of execution in respect to the acts consistent with Oviedo Guzman Lopez not to be presented before the U.S. Justice and to remain in the place where he is at the disposal of the court, only with reason to his personal freedom and not to be delivered to the government of the United States of America nor to any other state. The same federal judge decreed the suspension so that the execution of such acts immediately ceases.